Hi, and welcome back to Positive Prepper. Uh, today I want to give you some information that I really hope that you will take to heart. Uh, if I had to put the world in perspective, if a nuclear war, war uh, were to happen, uh, this is what it would look like. And I, as you can see, I have my like full world map. That's what it would look like because it would be once that first nuke is sent, unless there's some kind of um, really strong uh, ability to hold back, uh, everybody's going to be annihilated. It's just going to be a thing. Uh, but I have hope that that's not how things are going to turn out. Okay. Um, obviously, we have um, we have Ukraine here, and we have Poland or Belarus here. We have China, Iran. We have North Korea shooting stuff over Japan right now, and we have that nuclear submarine somewhere in the Arctic Ocean. You know, who knows? But here's what's going on, and this is why this is so important to understand. The United States uh, DHHS just purchased $300 million worth of a drug that they are calling is used for blood disorders. It also just so happens to be the drug that they give out for radiation sickness. Okay, That $300 million is not going to cover everyone in the United States and I might add the United States territories like Puerto Rico, okay? Ukraine just ha so happens to want nuclear weapons from the United States in their country at the same time that they're talking about wanting a preemptive strike against Russia, okay? There are no coincidences. This is all things that are moving it's it's like you know all the the all the the mechanisms globally working together okay on a really 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 side note flu season's coming up and they are warning now the CDC is warning not that we can trust everything they say but the CDC now is saying that the flu season this year is going to be extremely uh harsh so I would start stocking up on your uh, medications, your Tylenols, your NyQuil's, your Robitussin's, your Theraflu's, your, you know, any of those things that you use, any of those medications that you would use during a normal cold season, cold and flu season, uh, I would definitely start stocking up on those. Uh, I have never gotten this for the flu and I never will and I've only ever had it once in my life does that mean I might not get it this winter no but am I worried about it no okay it, it it's just it is what it is in my opinion you might have a different opinion about that and I'm not going to hold that against you all I'm saying is you need to start stocking up on those medications now uh, because a lot of the ingredients that go in a lot of this stuff comes from overseas. So if we're not able to get those ingredients to make these things, they're going to not be on the shelves for you when you need them. So that was that's kind of just a side note. And that goes right along with ADHD medications right now are becoming increasingly in short supply. Uh, so if you have children or you or whoever uh, has ADHD and you're on medication for that, you want to make sure that you are getting uh, supplies ahead of time. Okay? So do you still think that this isn't real? Imagine waking up tomorrow without internet. Okay, we use Roku in our house. Uh, we get our local news, we get alternative news sources, 
uh, you know, it, it keeps us kind of abreast of what's going on out there in the world. Okay. But social media is also very important. So if something happens locally, so let's say that there was an accident on a nearby highway, social media, people will ask, well, who was it? You know, what happened? Somebody somewhere knows everything about it, right? Uh, the local sheriff's department will put out a PSA either a couple hours after or maybe the next day. Uh, and then sometime down the road, they'll release the names. That's how we find out what's going on locally. And we find it out sooner than before, like, the local paper comes out. Uh, so everybody goes to social media. The same is true for uh, nationally. So people might go on there and say, you know, we saw more Black Hawk helicopters. We saw more military movement. Uh, I read a report that, blah, blah, blah. Or I have a friend in the military that said this, blah, blah, blah. Um, we use social media for a lot of that information as well. Uh, YouTube, Rumble, all of these types of sites give us a lot of information about things to be looking for and how to be preparing for it. Okay. But imagine that you're waking up and you don't have that anymore. Cyber warfare is, is growing exponentially. And it wouldn't take that much for them to knock down either the, the internet, uh, the banking systems, or our very fragile power grid. Okay? So imagine not having a way to get that information. Uh, if you have the old, like, analog antennas, uh, shortwave radios, things like that, you're far better off than you are than people that rely solely on the Internet um, for either their TVs or social media to get that type of information. Um, you are going to be blind to what's going on out there if you don't have an alternative way of communicating with the outside world. And then I also want to bring up that anything that happens is going to send that stock market into a tank. Remember that because we are at the start of a bear market, the, the market is already volatile. Okay, we might have those sharp increases. We'll have those short decreases. Gas prices are on the rise right now. Uh, OPEC decided they're not going to follow what the government recommended. Uh, they're kind of doing their own thing. Um, but anything that happens is going to tank that. And we also don't have the resources here in the United States like we did during World War II to, you know, how the women went into the workforce during World War II while the men were overseas fighting. Not that women didn't either. They were very valuable over there. But women stepped up here in the United States and they were making the tanks and they were making the, the artillery, okay, uh, uh, working on the airplanes and the ships and all that stuff. We had the resources then. We don't have those resources now. It would be really difficult to put all of that stuff in place so that we could keep that war machine going here in the United States without relying on outside countries okay and then if a war is going on do you really think containers of steel are going to make it across the ocean into the United States I would highly doubt that so I can't tell you how important it is right now to first of all be right with God and second of all be right with your preps uh, there's no coincidences everything is happening for a reason uh, number one, it's part of God's plan. And then number two, is this part of the WEF plan or is this going against the WEF plan? I'm going to let you guys decide and discuss that part of it. But you have to remember that we're not going to get a warning. Uh, and I talked about this in another video. Uh, everything's just going to happen. Okay. If it happens over in Russia and Ukraine, we're all sleeping. Well, 
most of us are. And so you're not going to know about this. The United States isn't going to come out with a PSA and say, oh, hey, by the way, you know, tomorrow Ukraine's decided to do a preemptive strike on Ukraine, so we're going to shut all the schools and the workplaces down. Everybody should just bunker down. They're not going to do that. Okay? They are going to go about business as usual. Uh, and so without those alternative sources of information, you are seriously not going to know what's going on. Did, it hit, hit, did anything hit the East Coast? Did anything hit the West Coast? You know, did anything hit the Midwest? Uh, I'm not trying to be like all gloom and doom, but you guys need to understand how real this really is and how more real every day goes by that this is becoming. So what's your plan? Uh, there's five questions I want you to ask yourself right now. Number one, can you secure your SHTF location from radiation. Number two, do you have the capability to stay informed if the internet or the grid goes down? Number three, do you have enough medical supplies in case of either a nuclear strike or in the case of an all-out conventional war? And this might not be like a civil war. This just might be the preppers having to fight off the non-preppers. Okay. Uh, do you have the medical supplies for injuries for that or sickness? Number four, have you stacked up enough food, water, and defense to survive for months or years? And number five, are you right with God so that you are not living in fear and you know where you'll be when the smoke clears? Maybe it's all hype. Maybe nothing will happen. But I'm pretty sure that the Jews during World War II and the South during the Civil War thought this would never happen. And it did. So listen to your gut. What is your gut telling you? Uh, so many people that I've talked to, and I've watched other prepper channels too, there's so many people getting that gut feeling that we are on that precipice right now. You need to listen to that. Okay? If you're, <coughs> excuse me, if your gut's telling you something's coming, you need to listen to that. It's no different than what we teach our children. You know, we don't teach stranger danger anymore. We teach them to trust their gut. What does your gut tell you about that person? What does your gut tell you about the things that are happening globally? Uh, where are you at? Um, and, and what is your gut telling you about what may or may not be coming? Uh, my gut says, keep prepping. Like, like every dollar that you spend right now on prepping is worth a thousand dollars during that SHTF. So prep as much as you can, as much as your budget allows. Find some ways to do it if you are on a limited budget, but just keep moving forward and I honestly would be stepping up that pace a little bit. Uh, I want to thank all the new subscribers that have been on here. I do appreciate you and I appreciate all of you uh, that have been with me uh, since I started this journey. Uh, so please pass these these videos along, share them. Uh, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and the notification bell. And as always, stay safe. Stay aware, and God bless.